We know that it can be difficult when we do not know God's plan and we don't know how it works. When I first saw the building, I knew it was perfect for the church, but I thought it was so expensive, and the owner told us uh, he was not going to sell it. But I knew it, uh, God was going to give this building to His church and that it belonged to all the community of Kefale. It's so cool how God has led in prayer through this whole process. His Holy Spirit has prompted us to pray uh, for the DR campus and in specifically for a building. In fact, I, I remember you and I were down in the DR visiting and um, we were, Tito was taking us to the building, we stood on the, uh, where the baptismal was, kind of like a balcony area. We did. And remember you said something kind of uh, about prayer and about claiming this. Remember what that was? I do, I just remember thinking, gosh, I really do sense God wants us to just stop right now yeah, and pray. that's what it was. Pray in this moment, pray in this location for this building. <laughs> and there was just an overwhelming sense that the Holy Spirit was there and we prayed yeah. like crazy. Yeah. And then came back to the, to the to you, the church, and said, "Hey, let's pray about this and see what God does." And it's all part of the big story that God's working. He invites us to pray, and then He makes it all happen. I told the owner that he did not understand. It was not his building. It already belonged to God's people. But we keep praying and we could not believe that suddenly the owner called me back and was ready to sell it to us. God was faithful. Thank you so much, my COD family. This dream has come true. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>